Imaginary lines made up by humans are separating different nations and people across the globe. From natural imposing boundaries to virtually no boundaries in places in Europe, here are the strangest international borders. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. But first, thanks guys for leaving us some great comments on our recent Creepiest and Most Mysterious Ancient Places video. Let us know your input on some of these borders in the comments section. We'd like to hear what you think about these. Number 18. India and Bangladesh These two countries share quite a complicated border in Southeast Asia, with India nearly surrounding the entire country. If you look closely at it, it almost appears as a young child scribbled on the map and came up with these borders. India is a large, fast-growing country and Bangladesh is one of the poorest per capita. The way the border is drawn out, it features random pieces of land belonging to India surrounded by Bangladesh. In recent years, it's become one of the most dangerous borders in the world. A controversial shoot-on-site policy was enforced and this 10-foot barbed wire fence was constructed that stretches 2,116 miles. Number 17. Paraguay, Brazil, and Argentina A little more of a peaceful boundary, this one is located where all three countries meet. The Parana River flows north and south in this photo, and the Iguaza River ends when it meets Paraguay. The rivers act as natural boundaries and have served as valuable resources to all three countries. Number 16. Spain and England you may have not even known that these two countries actually share a border. If you head to the south of Spain, not too far from Morocco, you'll notice something that seems a little bit different about it, like possibly some monkeys? Get ready to swap out your euros for pounds and learn some English because you're in Gibraltar and you're in the UK. This land was signed over to the UK under the Treaty of Utrecht in 1713 and was an extremely important naval base for the British ever since. This strategic port is located on the Strait of Gibraltar, which is the only way to enter from the west into the Mediterranean Sea. When the UK decided to leave the EU, more secure boundaries were built. This led to more Spaniards wanting to reclaim the land. However, a vote was taken and the citizens here decided to remain British. Number 15. Egypt and Israel the border between Israel and Egypt is one of the few man-made boundaries visible from space. One of the reasons the land is a different color in Egypt is likely due to a higher level of grazing by animal herders on the Egyptian side of the border. Israel is also much more densely populated than Egypt, and Egypt has much more land than they do. Agriculture in Israel normally appears in large, rather angular patterns. Despite the borders being quite controversial and well thought for, we can still see the differences between the nations. Number 14. USA and Canada Here's one of the many interesting borders between the U.S. and Canada. The long boundary stretches 3,987 miles, and that's not even including Alaska. In many places, the boundaries between the U.S. and Canada are very artificial. The only way for the two countries to actually know what territory they're in is to draw it up on the land, like we see here. Number 13. Haiti and the Dominican Republic The differences in this photo are quite drastic, and the grass is literally greener on the other side. You can see the lush wildlife of the Dominican Republic on the right side and the complete deforestation of Haiti on the left side. These two nations share the same tropical island in the Caribbean known as Hispaniola. The reason for the radical contrast is due to the huge difference in environmental protection laws between the two countries. Number 12. Norway and Sweden Here in this photo, we see a group of people on snowmobiles riding directly between the two European countries of Norway and Sweden. Both countries are known for their winter sports, and you can clearly tell both sides have plenty of snow, so they don't have to fight over it. Number 11. North Korea at night Here in this photo, we see the great difference between a thriving nation in the south and the hermit kingdom to the north. There is nearly no electricity on at night, and the North Korean capital has the only lights visible from an aerial view. Number 10. The Zambezi River Gorge this gorge, located on the Zambezi River that you see in this photo, separates Zimbabwe, Namibia, Botswana, and Zambia. It's the place where the most countries all meet at one point, and it's quite an impressive feat of nature. It's the fourth longest river in Africa, and it can be quite wide in some areas. This serves as a boundary between the four nations, and it would certainly be difficult to cross. Number 9. Brazil and Argentina On one side of the waterfall, you have Portuguese, and on the other side, you got Spanish. 
The long border between Brazil and Argentina stretches 785 miles. The scenic Iguazu Falls sits right between these two South American countries, and it's only three miles away from the border with Paraguay. The National Park is located within a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it preserves a large diversity of flora and fauna. Number 8. France and Brazil France has a few territories overseas that they call Territoire d'Outre-mer. These are given nearly the same political importance as regions in the mainland. One of these is French Guiana, which is located in South America and it shares a border with the country of Brazil. The two nations are separated by immense tropical rainforests and there is little to no presence of either country along the border. So go ahead and cross if you dare. Number 7. Poland and Russia the Russian exclave known as Kaliningrad is located just north of Poland. The land was given to Russia after World War II and has acted as a valuable port city for Russians due to its location on the Baltic Sea. The land here was primarily dominated by Germans for a long period of time in history, but in modern times, there are primarily Russians living here. The border is quite tense due to disagreements between NATO and Russia. There is only four entrances to Poland from Kaliningrad and each one is heavily guarded, especially in comparison to EU countries. Number 6. The Three Country Point This bizarre border really isn't much of a border at all, as you can tell. You can just walk from one side to the other side with no fuss from customs. There's a spot near the German city of Aachen where you can chill in the Netherlands and Belgium as well. You can even take a seat in all three countries in a matter of a few seconds. Now when people ask what countries you visited, you can just go ahead and check off all three of those. Number 5. Serbia and Croatia there are places in Croatia that aren't necessarily safe for tourists. There are an estimated 50,000 landmines scattered across a 310 square mile area and signs are placed to warn people. This is mostly found near the border with Serbia where some of the most intense fighting in the 1990s took place. Some even fear that migrants will unknowingly cross these fields in order to make it to Northern Europe. This tough 14 year old Croatian boy plays with anti-tank mines that were found near his village. We're assuming that they're disarmed but who knows. Anyways, there have been efforts to clear out these landmines, but it certainly is an expensive and dangerous operation, so just stick to the beaches. Number 4. Lesotho and South Africa Lesotho is a landlocked country completely surrounded by South Africa and has somehow remained independent. Its geographical location separates it from South Africa and makes it the only nation that lies completely over a kilometer above sea level. Some have wanted Lesotho to be annexed by South Africa, which would give it access to other parts of the world. The population is about 1.9 million, but the AIDS epidemic here has diminished living standards and population quite drastically. In any case, in order to get to this country, one must take a street called Sani Pass in order to reach the necessary elevation. You can tell it's not too easy. Number 3. USA and Canada again you can see how land was broken up in a bizarre fashion in the Northwest Pacific, and if you take a look at this place known as Point Roberts, south of Vancouver, you can get an idea. If for some reason you had to go to this isolated little peninsula, you would have to go through Border Patrol in Canada and then once again in the US. So safe to say it's pretty secure. The strange borders here were due to the Oregon Treaty, which broke up the US and Canada at the 49th parallel. Number 2. The Three Country Karn this is located in Norway, Sweden, and Finland, and since it marks the area where all three countries meet, it's a pretty cool place. With Finland having a long history of wars with Russia for a long period of time, Finland was either controlled by Russia or their borders were disputed. Finland finally declared independence from Russia during World War I, and although Finland lost more territory in the years to come, it was a small price to pay for their eventual independence. Finally, even after some disputes with Norway, the final stone was placed here and all three countries came to an agreement. Some even claim it to be the smallest island in the world. Now you can take photos in all three countries at once. Number 1. The Bering Strait In case you were wondering, there's a little island of Alaska known as Diomede in the Bering Strait and it's the only place where you can actually see Russia from the US. The US and Russians decide that these two islands would separate the countries in order to ensure fishing boundaries. Big Diomede falls within Russian territory and Little Diomede in American territory. 